So I've been inundated with contact from members of our British Armed Forces, messaging me concerned about our new advertisement and our rec new recruitment videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here, I'm going to watch our videos, watch the recruitment videos. We've spent £1.6 million on these videos. So let's watch them. I'll see what I think, see what we think. And we look at our rivals, you know, maybe Russia, China. We look at their recruitment videos and we'll compare the two and see what we think. So let's start with this British Army. New British Army recruitment. Let's see. So they're out fighting. They're on patrol. And he's taking his boots off. He's took his boots off. He's washing himself in puddles on the floor. And now he's praying. And everyone's watching him. So everyone's risking their lives so he can pray. Basically. Oh, the radio goes on. Stop, 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 stop. Someone's praying. Stop the war. War stops. Someone's praying. No, that's not going to happen, is it? That is never going to happen. You're endangering the other men's lives so you can pray to an imaginary fairy in the sky. Unbelievable. This is actually our... Oh, I think someone was trolling us with this. This is actually our British Army recruitment video. So, I guess there's a Sikh one like this, yeah? Or a Hindu one, and a Jewish one, and a Buddhist one. No, there's not, no. Just a Muslim one. Just an Islamic one. I, I, I get confused with this. The reason why I get mainly confused is four times as many Muslims went to fight for ISIS as joined our British military. So I don't understand the big push. And when we have had... What, 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 the, what our government had is they had a Muslim called Af Salamin, who was a captain in the British Army who trained at Sandhurst, who was put up as, look, this is, this is how Muslims can integrate into our country. He was a captain in the British Army. I had to go undercover to expose him. What then turned out was that before he joined the British Army and done his 10 years as a British captain, he was a radical extremist talking about how the Mujahideen, the Islamic fighters, will come out of their towns in Britain and attack us to take over our country. Then he became a captain in the British Army. Now, we want more Muslims into the army. That's what this is aimed at. There may be some good Muslims in the army who are doing more for this country than me. But what is this about? Right, and here's the next one. Let's have a watch of this one. This is the, will I be listened to in the army? So start off, what we're going to be going through is, can I have feelings? Will I get hurt? Will I get upset? You're joining the army. You have bullet shot at you. I grew up with brothers and I've always played sports, but I still thought the army was dominated by men and it wasn't for me. You've got a man. Look at that. A man picking up the little woman. Look, look at it. I felt like I didn't have a voice. So I decided to go for it and I joined the army. It was totally different. Men at work will talk over her because she's a woman. That's what this is getting. I recently commissioned as an officer and now I lead a team of 30 women and men. It feels good to finally have my voice heard. Find where you belong. Okay. It's about women joining the army. I'm not against women joining the army at all. I just think this is the advert. This is the recruitment video. This is what the world's going to watch as our British Army recruitment video. Growing up, I really had my heart set on joining the army. My brother was out in Afghanistan. Hearing his experiences, that's when I knew I wanted to join as a medic. I was really worried about whether I'd be accepted, but within days, I was more than confident about being who I was. I'm not afraid to talk about having a boyfriend. I thought I'd have to hide it, but once you've done it, you think, well, why, why did I make it such a big thing for so long? So women, now I've got a specific video aimed at getting gay people to join the army. This is our recruitment video. Women, gay people so far. Let's see. Let's carry on. I'm not against either of them joining the army, by the way. Let's see the next one. I, can I practice my faith in the army? Okay. So that starts off. I take it. Well, I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be Mary and Joseph? Mary and Jesus. Mary, yes. Is that supposed to be Mary and Jesus? Is it though? Or is it not? No, it can't be, because we're going straight from that one. Well, let's see. Faith has always been a part of who I am. Daily prayers were a huge part of family life. But growing up, it got harder. 
Growing up, it got harder because there was a pub. It got really Many hard. Jobs there will was a give pub. you a chance to pray. When I joined the army, I was worried Many it would be worse. Many jobs give you a chance to pray, and it's got a big white man. Look, more looking down at him, intimidating figure. On the poor little Muslim standing there, all he wants to do is pray whilst at work. The truth is, majority of companies now, big companies, have prayer rooms. So, so far, this is the British recruitment for the army. I ain't seen anything aimed at young working class men. So far, have you? Anything specifically aiming at the, to, to draw you in as a young working class man? You know that one in eight schools in our country are not hitting st are below, completely below standards. Well, I saw an article the other day about the 100 worst schools in the UK. They're the schools that the army should be going into. They're the people they should be recruiting. Do you think you're going to recruit those young, hard, working class kids, tough kids from tougher states, with these videos? What if I get emotional in the army? This is your recruitment video for the army. Oh, God. The Drop British it. army. It feels like as a man, Can you've I never crying? expressed your emotions. It's crying. Your recruitment video has got the man crying. Joining the army would be a thousand times worse. That any sign of emotion would be a sign of weakness. That it would have it ripped out of us. We're all men cry anyway. You but no one is a machine. What is this in a recruitment video for? I've probably told them things I wouldn't even tell my own family. There's always someone there to talk to. Or even just make you laugh. 1.6 million pound that cost. Lucy, you could have made that in an hour. 1.6 million pound. That cost. If you was a young working class man who the majority of people who join the British military are young working class kids from poor backgrounds, okay, you, who the army go in and they make them into men. They take them from rough backgrounds with no future and they give them careers. That's, the, that's a great thing about the army, okay? Watching that recruitment video, would you join that? Let's look at the chart. Let's look at China's recruitment video. I don't even need to play the rest, do I? You get the picture. You get the picture. Now, I'm not going to say I'm embarrassed by the British Army, because I'm not. We're the best in the world. I'm embarrassed by the recruitment advert. I'm embarrassed by what they're trying to make the British Army. In the, when the world looks on, imagine Chinese soldiers watching our recruitment advert. Imagine that. They're going to be laughing their heads off. Look at what you're filling your next generation of fighters, of warriors. That's what we're supposed to be breeding is warriors. Fighters, people prepared to go into battle and kill to defend our nation. You want them to cry. You want to be crying or be praying. Oh, man. Let's have a look at Let's Now, now we'll just finish quickly on the Russian one. Поле к победе. Эффективное решение задач. Красота и мощь оружия. Уверенность в будущем. Сила знаний. Армия России. Учись. If you're a young man, or a young woman, if especially if you're a young lad full of testosterone, and you join the army to fight, to be the best, and you watch those recruitment videos, what are you going to think? They want to diversify our, our army just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. Let's get to the point of why this is happening. Why are recruitment videos specifically aimed at the Islamic community, basically, which is what it is, Let's have a look. Let's have a little listen to David Cameron. As I've said many times, for a party like the Conservatives, just to open the door and say, come on in, if all you see is a sea of white Christian faces. Can't see white faces. That'd be bang out of order. White Christian faces. 
no, the country's 90% white. I don't get it. I don't get the massive... Pro- it's like, it is. ...from your own communities, getting to the top of the army, getting to the top of the legal profession, getting to the top of the bu- business, and yes, getting to the top of the Conservative Party and politics too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've showed you what happened with Afzal Amin, the man, you re- the man who told me in the undercover meetings he was going to be Prime Minister. We've seen who he was. He was an undercover jihadist. Let's so listen to this bit. Society. We need more role models like this. Many more Muslim men and women at the top of British businesses. Many more Muslim soldiers in the highest level of command. And of course, more Muslims in our club. <coughs> so there's not just one Muslim in the cabinet. Now, the problem I have with this. What has that then being Muslim got to do with anything? Why are you, we, we have a separation of politics and, and, and religion. You're combining it. What, 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 what's it matter if a Muslim's involved in politics? What's it matter if they're Muslims? I'm completely disappointed and embarrassed in the British Army recruitment video, as are many members of our who are serving our Queen and country. The comparisons especially. Look at Russia. Look at China. Look what they're building. Look what they want to build. Look what we want to build. Look at what they want the future of our army to be. If you're serving in our army, if you're in the Navy, whatever you're in, and you want me to tell your story, if you're feeling passionately and strongly about this, and you want me to tell you your story about this, I can do so so no one will know who you are. If you want to contact us on the email that's linked with this video, you can do so and I'll read out those stories. Thank you for watching. Our videos are free for everybody anywhere to watch, but they're not free to make. We have a studio, we have a camera crew, we have editors, we have security. I'm asking for your help to keep us on the air. If you value the work we do, if you value the news we bring you, please go to tommyrobinson.com forward slash support and give us a monthly voluntary donation. Keep us on the air.